Hello traders, Ed Samurai Trader here. I thought I'd just do a quick video on uh, really covering and explaining what I mean when I talk about AC13 trading editions or AC14. It's really quite simple, but as we say, a picture is worth a thousand words, so I'll explain them in detail. So you might hear me talk about it in the coaching sessions or in the live trading room, and of course, many of my one on one members we discuss it in virtually every session. So, first of all, let me just pull up the disclaimer we do know there is a risk in trading, so don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose, and of course trade on the simulator and when you do go to a low of account consider trading the micros to start with so first of all I talk about the AC1 or AC4 so I'm really talking about the anchor chart one now you can apply all of these to your entry chart as well but I tend to find on the lower time frames of course we get a lot more noise where what we're looking for or looking to do of course is to look for a retracement and trade in the direction of a higher time frame so first of all the abbreviations are uh, the midline on the MACD BB and that's the midline or the average of the um, Bollinger Band portion of a MACD BB but as we'll see when we get to it you'll see I've heavily filtered mine but I also like to watch what's happening to the MACD side of that so I'll show you that in a moment also have the long-term stochastic which of course we use on uh, both our entry chart our anchor chart one anchor chart two um, uh, as our trend directional indicator and the short-term stochastic can be very important on an anchor chart one particularly when you're in a period of consolidation what you want to do is see your short-term stochastic also hook in the direction of the trend and your e entry chart trade so that is really important you know it's not so important in a strong trending market but when you're in a chop or in a consolidation zone and on the anchor chart one I'm using the 30 period hull moving average HMA now what I've done traders on my Google Drive I've actually opened up so if you go to the uh, members area I've actually opened up a folder there uh, down here called Hull Moving Average. So you'll be able to uh, click on that, and I've got a couple of excellent articles on there explaining the Hull. Now, the Hull Moving Average was actually uh, put together by a mathematician, a fellow called Alan Hull, down here. Uh, down under in Australia and it's really a, a zero lag type I mean zero zero lag double triple smooth moving average and it works very very well however it's still an indicator okay it's still an indicator and so it's a 30 period and I find that works really well now going back uh, some years ago and I was explaining to uh, members in the coaching room a couple of weeks ago this is something I put together it was 14 years ago now 13 14 years ago I was looking at using the um, uh, uh, the uh, hull moving average on Forex so I used to trade Forex exclusively going back some years ago well I was trading the ES and just to remove confusion <laughs> I used to trade the ES then I moved over to Forex went back of course to the futures markets but this is something we put together um, uh, here for five minute and 15 minute charts using a 40 period and so we put together a, a trading strategy that was very very effective okay but then I moved away from time-based charts just because there's so much price action of course can happen in five minutes to tick and then to Renko where basically now I'm exclusively Renko and tick charts so uh, Hull has always been there and I just thought I'd apply it again and I've now got some members rave about using the uh, the hull now some of my members are using uh, 200 a 240 a 60 there's different settings so it's about finding um, what you feel good or what you feel comfortable with now let me say this these are still once again and if we just look at my standard chart so this is a four tick NQ chart okay just my standard indicators the standard entry chart 
uh, in my opinion there's no need to apply a hull to the entry chart okay our EMAs and the ribbon everything here tells us everything we need to know okay but what what I do want to confirm though is when I have a reversal such as this period or this this area I should say okay yes we've got our long-term stochastic is up yes we've got um, our reversals here and if I went and turned the t20 back on you'd see the arrow there as well and so one of the challenging uh, areas that I sometimes even personally after 28 years find hard to trade or let's get off the the downtrend and start trading against that trend uh, is that's always a challenge uh, so looking at the AC3 or the AC4 is just really for me a confirmation tool that I may have a reversal for an example the market sells off one great thing here we know how effective pivot bounces are so we got a pivot bounce so that actually would have been a trade within itself we rally up here and what I want you to notice is over here on my anchor chart one the 30 period hull is reversed my long-term stochastic is starting to trend up I've got my midline the green line here on my MACD BB is up as is those uh, green uh, dots are the MACD part of the MACD BB so what I've got is uh, all of those are telling me to go long and then to finish it off I've then got the short-term stochastic is also trending so I've got the short-term stochastic long-term stochastic the MACD I've got the midline and I've got the hull so when I come to do I take this trade it pretty much makes my decision making a lot easier now let's go back to say an area like here what about where we started to get we had a little double bottom here we started to get a potential reversal well if I then look uh, over here the the MACD D, sorry the hull has not turned yet and in fact it doesn't turn until I'm well into uh, the reversal here and I do have the short term is up the long term stochastic has not started to turn yet but I bounce off for 21 very very quickly just there so it's really the market reversals that I'm really looking for here now just to remind everyone as well whenever we have a market reversal and say if I'm looking at going short here number one we can see here that my cloud is against me going short okay so you can see I've got three uh, lower closes on this particular Renko chart my long-term stochastic is against me but remember that's not uncommon when you have a deep pullback the long-term stochastic is going to trend up anyway but more importantly look over on your uh, anchor chart one see how you had like at least four or five maybe even six there I think it is uh, green candles we then had there's a tail that's called a Renko tail which is this formation here so whenever you have a number of candles against a potential short trade wait for the anchor chart one candle to close which it did not in this in this case now what if the anchor chart one candle had of close well what we've got against us here is long-term stochastic the um, uh, sorry the 30 period hull we've got the long-term stochastic we've got the MACD BB so we've got a number of indicators saying no don't take the trade now you would have found that the short-term stochastic would have started to hook so remember it is quite sensitive right so our slingshot trades so it's really more of a confirmation tool let me find another example now see all of these um, uh, trades in a downtrend if we look over here on the anchor chart one all of my indicators are, uh, are in a downtrend now yes I know we can see this on the entry chart however what we want to be doing is looking for retracements on our EC and trading in the direction of the AC1 the anchor chart now having one or two reasons for taking a trade is, is always okay having five or six reasons for taking a trade is even better so what we can see in this case we've got the hull we've got the cloud we've got the long-term stochastic we've got uh, the, the uh, uh, midline we've got the MACDBB I've got the short-term stochastic hooks so everything is screaming let's 
short the market now of course we know and I just actually recorded a video on um, four trades four winners for a thousand dollars just yesterday on this and so each one of these step downs is worth ten dollars so you can actually on the four tick Renko be, um, uh, on the NQ you get that much price action you can afford just to wait for the best of the best setups that is when everything lines up now what are some of the restrictions or, or when it won't work when you've got a two a deep 2b or 3b for an example if we look right here this is a 3b and so if we look down here we can see on the entry chart the long-term stochastic is against us all of our EMAs but it's a 3b I've got one bounce I've got two bounces and on the AC2 I would have been bouncing now we look down here yes for short-term stochastic took but if you went over to the far right you'd see the long-term stochastic is against you the midline so everything is against you so if you're considering trading uh, and using the AC13 or the AC14 indicators to confirm a trade, when you have a 2B, okay, uh, forget it. That is, I'd pretty much uh, ignore those because these are shorter term settings. Now, let me just turn the super scalper on here for a moment. So here if you've got the super scalper on which I do recommend of course on the uh, your entry chart right well that sort of helps clearly to find a little better where your entries are etc so here I've got a, a t2 34b 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 slingshot and look over what's happening here on your AC1 okay the 30s down you've got the cloud you've got the long terms down you've got the short term hooks you've got the midline okay so we've got all of that now let me find another example here of a market reverse now let's have a look at this one just here so we're potentially reversing and let's just go from the right hand side here so when we first start to reverse okay we've um, down here we've got uh, a really nice bit of divergence actually so we've got a beautiful uh, one or two D just here so we had a nice reversal trade yes up we come and what about this just here so what we've got just there is a rule of one I now look over on the anchor chart one the long-term stochastic is up the 30 period the midline and the short term everything is pointing north let's take those now just an example here's another 3b now with that 3b you actually had everything was in the tre in trending in your direction for you except for the uh, hull moving average okay you had everything trending down ah <laughs> uh, and traders for, for season members that are watching this yes I know we've got the 200 there so forget the 200 was there okay for a moment forget that let me find another reversal point okay so when we get these sort of areas uh, we can see I've still got my MACD BB and let's remember what the MACD BB is made up of it's made up of two indicators uh, both a Bollinger Band and a standard MACD remember my platinum MACD is a zero lag very sensitive the MACD in a standard MACD BB uses traditional MACD settings and so that uh, the MACD is a uh, a trend following indicator where the Bollinger Band is a volatility indicator okay so you got two different indicators together oh, yeah. and one thing just on this see we had a big sell-off down here now see the black dots now this is true with just about every MACD indicator um, now I know that uh, trade station is difficulty getting a MACD BB indicator for that but um, so for those that do have a MACD BB when you have a color change and you'll find this is standard on most MACD BB um, indicators most of them will change color when it turns black what that is that's the MACD crossing into the Bollinger Band 
now how you can use that that's an early heads up of a potential reversal okay but what you got to make sure is that the candle on the relevant time frame where you've got your MACD so say here it turns black it means it's hooking make sure that the candle also closes in the direction of the trade so what it is it's an early heads up of a possible um, uh, cut across the Bollinger Band as happens just there so it's an early heads up now if we then look at this over here and what we had just here uh, look actually this is a standard T19 now you can see the divergence high high on price uh, lower high but if you look over at your MACDBB sorry <laughs> even your MACDBB and your long-term stochastic uh, everything for the high time frame is still trending up now as you know we can still scalp these we could scalp this down to the 200 EMA so there's still some good profit opportunities with these but let me find another turning point because that's where I find it much for use much more useful now here this is too easy that one's too easy let me find a difficult one not this one here because I don't have any reason to go short here let's just scan across here and see ah let's see if we get one just here okay now just here now here I'm not quite we, we don't quite have everything um, turning here in fact what you had there was a t12 but now you've got confirmation so if you're not sure just here we've got the long-term stochastic is training up our 30 hull the MACD BB and of course we've got the cloud and all that sort of thing so once again in using the uh, AC one or on and, oh sorry <laughs> and as always my videos are raw and unedited so just as a reminder um uh, just on the short-term stochastic now it wouldn't matter if you had the short-term stochastic if you had the midline and the hull you can combo any of these but let me try to find an example here of a short-term stochastic for you on the anchor chart and where that can be uh, handy let me just try to find one just here no we don't have one there I may not be able to find one for you hooks uh, no we get the hook we're rolling over ah here is one right here this is a great example so this is what I mean about the short-term stochastic hook so we can see here we're rolling over now we know that there is fundamentally some issues here because we don't sell or buy into or sell at a 200 EMA yes we we scalp into them but I don't want to sell right here but what I want you to imagine for a moment is uh, that is not there okay because I know what some members will say well hang on Ray we're not meant to sell there that is correct however what I want to drive home is this if we had a sold there where uh, we've got the long-term stochastic is trending down you've got your MACD and the Bollinger Band are trending down uh, you've got the hull is trending down everything is looking short just there but you would have been stopped out of that by two ticks why see the short-term stochastic has not hooked it might have looked like it was going to hook but it didn't hook now look at this here on this candle close you now have the short-term stochastic has hooked in the direction of your trade so you've got the uh, the long term you've got the whole sorry <laughs> you've got the long-term stochastic you've got the short-term hook and we've got the BB and the MACD down here confirming the trade now not a great example uh, just there because of the 200 but I think you get the point so if ever you uh, here is another one perfect here is another example now <laughs> uh, and we're at the pivot so those perhaps that are new members uh, I just I'm going to pause the video and just show you something all right let me go and find it this is really important okay let me just remind everyone uh, these are absolutely essential 
this will make the difference between uh, making or ma making you or breaking you as a trader you've got to check regularly where are your pivot levels and fortunately with virtually every trading platform now you can have your pivot levels the prior days open high low and close levels even your current days high and low levels there are indicators that will plot these automatically on your charts now these are predictive indicators pivot levels prior days because we hit these areas all the time even major EMAs even though they are um, uh, you know we predicated on price plotting these act as price magnets all the time so what I want to say there yes you can sell or buy into a pivot level and as you know we have got a set a, a trade called the pivot magnet trade or the t28 and we treat the same with the major EMAs intraday highs and lows and the current days high and low and we also use the same thing with our round numbers you must be checking for those because just there I just showed you that uh, in two areas one at the 200 and you can see yes we well first trade would have been stopped on because we didn't have the hook but then we flipped not not too soon after likewise here if we had have sold right there we bounced again so this one here is a pivot magnet trade so you can uh, even though you can see here some great examples where we bounce but you can also sell or buy into your pivots uh, let me just try to find another example here okay so there's a pivot magnet trade just there uh, so if we look at this here that white line up there that's the prior days close this here is a pivot that blue line there that, that's the prior days open and just here we've got a pivot again and notice how we bounce off that pivot I want you to notice how we bounce off the 89 so all of these areas are price magnets so I just wanted to say that because we had two potential cells where I went oops we shouldn't have and why we're right at the 200 now what about selling into these areas yes you can do extremely well but um, uh, of course there's some secrets to what we need to look for uh, just let me just try to find another uh, these are all pretty straightforward these ones where we get the hooks and trend continuations but anyway look I've gone a bit longer uh, with this so just um, uh, in summary uh, traders what we're looking at doing here is where I talk about oh, I've got um, uh, AC1 for trading conditions on my anchor chart it just simply means I've got um, four major volatility indicator and three trending indicators all confirming uh, the trend and goes a long way in assisting uh, uh, my anchor chart um, trades now on the other hand if you're a pure price action trader you may just as we've got many you may choose just to be using your EMA so once again uh, indicators are tools to use but uh, for me I like them in confirming market reversals so I hope this little video uh, assists you thanks traders see you on the next video